Hey everybody, I'm sitting here in my dormitory bed in the hostel I'm staying in in Amsterdam. Before we get on to the journey and the adventures and following videos, I thought I would just share with you a few pieces of advice and stuff that I know about traveling alone. Because I'm here by myself and this is far from the first time that I've traveled alone. It is something you get better at, but it is something that a lot of people find very intimidating that they would never want to do. Personally, I love traveling alone. I love exploring unfamiliar cities alone. So there are good things and bad things about traveling alone. The most obvious things being that you don't have to make any compromises about where you want to go, what you want to do, what you want to look at, how long you want to lie in bed for, <laughs> whatever, like where you want to eat. It's cool. It's great traveling with other people. I think it's a whole different kind of experience. I think it's lovely to have people with you to share memories with. And of course, it is a lot safer to travel with other people. But you do end up having to make quite a lot of compromises. A lot of travel bloggers and stuff don't show you the real tedious, mundane stuff that comes with traveling, especially when you're by yourself because there's nobody to talk to. They normally only show you the best parts, like of them prancing around on a beach. You don't see the hours of waiting on public transport, getting lost, getting confused. Before we get started, I would like to share with you my latest addiction. The thing that really helped me yesterday and a lot of time recently enduring hours sitting on public transport. I don't know about you, but I'm a big fan of like addictive games that make the time go by really quickly. So I'm going to share with you my latest favorite. This is a little game called Best Fiends and it's a puzzle battle game. At first glance I thought this was a game maybe only for kids, but it is actually pretty challenging and super addictive. I really like it. So anyway, it's called Best Fiends, not Best Friends. So you have your little team of fiends, they're these little bugs, and they're not really that fiendish, they're more just friendly and kind of cute actually. There are lots of different ones that you can collect and they have different abilities. This is how I managed to get through yesterday's bus trip, long train trip and short train trip that I took to get to this hostel yesterday. It's very easy to play, it's super addictive. My husband's been like, are you still playing that? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, can you go do this? No, just, just, just give me a minute. I am not ashamed. So here I have my cute little team of fiends and they work together to defeat the evil slugs. The goals that you have to achieve are up there in the corner and this is actually really fun. There are loads of levels and side quests and a wheel to spin and like mystery boxes and it's really fun. Okay, so if you like and appreciate games like this as much as I do, I will chuck a link in the description box below so you can download Best Fiends for yourself. Do recommend. No joke though, I was sitting here last night in this bed doing this until 2 o'clock in the morning. I don't have a problem, I can stop any time I want. Especially if you're traveling alone and you don't have anyone to talk to necessarily. Bringing some entertainment or a game like this is a great way to make the time pass more quickly. Another good thing to remember, which is often hard for me, is not to pack too much stuff. You should only bring with you what you can easily carry because you are having to carry around all your own luggage. Like I said, travel bloggers don't usually show you all the hard parts. You end up spending a lot of time lugging bags up and down stairs, walking for miles with heavy luggage, especially if the weather's bad absolutely sucks. So travel light, the less stuff you bring with you, the better. Unfortunately for me, it is absolutely essential that I wear a lot of big frilly clothes all the time, but also I've had to bring with me my on-the-go video making studio kit thing, which is quite heavy. So yay. Um, another thing that I have not done, which I would advise everyone to do, shame on me, really though, because made yesterday quite hard for me. Ugh. I have to go literally one stop from the station to another station. I have no idea how to do that. And I'm scared. Okay, maybe I can go this way. Nope. No. Whether you're traveling in general, like alone or with other people, write down the phone number of the place you're staying, write down the address. Another really good thing to do is to draw yourself little maps of how to get from point A to point B. So for example, if you're going from a train station to the place you're staying and you need to walk there, especially if you're carrying your luggage, you want to get there the quickest way possible and you do not want to get lost, and maybe it's a foreign language place, you might not be able to ask for directions, draw a map in advance before you go so you know exactly where to go, write down yourself some directions. And I mean draw a map, like don't put it on a tablet or a phone or a laptop or something, draw it on a piece of paper, print one out from Google Maps, whatever, but have a hard copy because you cannot guarantee that you will always have power on your devices. And speaking of not being able to ask for directions, if you are going to a place that speaks a different language from yourself, it's a really good idea and also polite to learn a few words of the language of wherever you're going. For example, I'm in Holland, so I tried to learn a couple of words in Dutch. 
wow, Dutch is hard. <laughs> I thought it would be kind of like German because Dutch, Deutsch, it isn't at all. For example, you should learn how to say hello, thank you, please, I'm sorry, I don't speak blah language, do speak English or whatever. There's a really good idea and it's also just good manners. Yeah, I'm going to carry on getting ready now and go ahead and explore Amsterdam alone. <laughs> Thank you very much to Best Fiends for sponsoring this video and for giving me something really fun to do during all the long inevitable train trips and bus trips and waiting at stations. Thank you. Hoping to run into a few of you while I'm here in Amsterdam. Already ran into somebody yesterday. It was awesome. And thank you very much for watching. If you have yet to do so, please subscribe to my channel. I make at least two videos every week. Probably this week there'll be a couple more because hopefully Amsterdam will deliver on being fun and I can make all the vlogs ever. So as always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I'll see you next time. Bye!